November 18th, we 2015. We're getting close to uh, Thanksgiving. The uh, temperature is going to go into the 30s tomorrow, and it was in the 50s today, and we had two days of rain, and it's all coming to uh, an end. Not that uh, I want summer. I'm not a uh, let's have a lot of snow guy. What do we have tonight? As always, a good show. We're going to start out by covering St. Paul Public Schools. Of course, I was at the uh, school board meeting uh, last night, so, so we have some, some video clips from there. Uh, most of that conversation, or a lot of that conversation, will be uh, parents. Well, we're going to play th three parents that came in uh, during public comment and talked about uh, uh, they were very much advocating for a later start time for the high schools and the junior highs and uh, based on that students do better, that high school students aren't really morning people, that they've, their makeup has changed. The reason we're going to present this, of course, is because the school board, in their very limited wisdom, that's the kind of thing I can say about that school board, voted to remove public comment from part of the official school board meeting and to censor uh, parents and taxpayers and teachers comments so the rest of the community, the school district, couldn't hear the concerns. So once again, you have a unit of government that's trying to stymie public thought, public expression of ideas and opinions, and that is your St. Paul School Board. That is why you, as of January, will have four new school board members. So we will we'll bring that in my comments there and actually my cameraman Tim Kinley's comments. So we will be playing that for you. We also have a update on the grant stuff that I, I didn't get to. We also will have some video clips of the superintendent of the North St. Paul Maplewood Oakdale school system, uh, Christine Osario, and uh, we will play some of that so you get an idea who she is, and that conversation will be, of course, about the uh, failed uh, levy referendum. So with that, uh, so we don't get too far behind, I'm looking at the control room, and I see everybody has vacated it. What, let's start by playing some of these this video clips from last night's school board meeting. Is, is that up? Yes, yes. We'll start out with, with my comments, and then we'll move on from there, and we'll, uh, after the comments, uh, we'll have a little conversation. Thank you. And here, here, here we go real quickly. We're, we're Inside Insight News Hour, Wednesday, cable channel 15, 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. I want to share with the board a letter to the editor of Sunday's paper. The gap is parental. The achievement gap is not racial. It is not cultural. It is not social economic. It is parental. All children deserve the chance to learn. But how is a child supposed to achieve anything academically if he or she has never been taught any desire to learn any manners or any respect for others. If parents show no interest in their child's education, never participate, never encourage, or praise honest effort, never model acceptable behavior, how can a child be expected to behave in class, let alone learn? A love of learning, an understanding of the lifelong value of an education, self-discipline, cooperation, and respect for others are gifts any loving, responsible parent can give their child, no matter their race, 